what's going on youtube man welcome back to another video now before we jump into today's video man you should have know what you should have been did like comment and subscribe we trying to save the world we trying to save as many people as we can so make sure you hit that post notification bell so you don't get that post nut clarity my guys y'all listen man don't mind my shirt my shirt is a little it's green so y'all probably seeing through my shirt but today i have a video for y'all this guy is completely disrespecting all of us who are on retention this guy's completely going against everything we stand for so i had to bring it to the channel man and the video is called seamer attention is dumb now you will the scriptures tells us that you will know a person by their fruits right so let's pay attention to this man's fruits and i believe this video was made let me see i believe this video was made right two years ago right 2020 two years ago i guess but you will know them by your fruits right so let's get into what this guy has to say yo i'm tired of doing the intro yo i'm tired of doing the intro so i ain't gonna do the intro i'm just playing what a what a what a to the creep man hey i'm finna put something on you so called man senior attention is dumb not only is it dumb, it's super dumb, bro. I don't want to hear none of that. I don't know anything. I was talking My about tripping or his voice isn't matching up. His voice not matching up with what no, he's saying. Right. All he got on rock around with the train here on the YouTube just to give you. Fuck that shit. Oh, fuck now, bro. For real, though, bro. <laughs> I'm not with none of that. Well, I'm where you in. For real, though, bro. I'm not with none of that. Don't bring none of that to my doorstep, bro. For real, though. No. Check it, though. I don't know about y'all, and I don't know how much y'all get booty, you feel me? But, bro, as I was growing up, I've always realized that when I'm when I'm getting what I want, when I'm hitting fine chicks, this and that, and I'm cracking new bitch, I feel like the man, bro. Like, for real, though. And I be feeling like the man. I be, I be at high energy when I be feeling that way, like on some real stuff. Like I said, guys, you will know them by their fruits. This guy, nine times out of 10, 10 times out of 10, does not, hasn't built a foundation on the rock. He hasn't built a foundation on our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So woe to him for calling good evil and good, excuse me, woe to him for calling, woe to him for calling evil good and good evil, woe to him. But let's hear him though. He said he feels like the man cracking them cheeks. So, so I don't get what y'all talking about. Y'all talk about steamer retention, this, that, whatever the case it is. Okay, now but it matches folks, up. The whole point of all this stuff is to be in a high energy, is to be in a high vibration, a high frequency. And y'all saying, y'all saying, okay, if, if I don't retain my semen, bro, then I'm going to go back down to a low energy or whatever the case it is. But fam, when I'm out here hitting, cracking new shit, my energy be so high, bro. I ain't trying to. That's because God has already gave this guy over to a reprobate mind. So sinning, he doesn't get conviction, any conviction from sinning. You know, when God gives people over to a, a, a reprobate mind, they have no problem sinning. They see nothing wrong with sin. What did this man? I hear none of that shit, bro. I be feeling like I'm the man, and that's a good thing to feel like, bro. When you feel like you the man, you is the man. You become the man. Fuck is you talking about, bro? On on them. So yeah, man. I be moving, grooving, sliding, playing. Fuck is you talking about, nigga? No, on, on a real, on a real serious note, though. On a real serious note, though. Check it out, bro. They saying if you if you don't retain your if you retain your semen then you can attract uh, good things you can become successful you got better chance you got a better chance of becoming successful 
everything gonna start working out for you and this and that, fam. That's some bull crap, bro. That's all some bull crap. See, and I made a video on this as to the two biggest mis misconceptions of SR. So most people, they they think us guys retain because we can't get women or we can't attract women, which is a big lie. That's a big misconception. A lot of us do this. I, I can't speak for other men, but I, I can't speak for other men. But I know that I'm doing this for a divine reason. God told me that this is what I need needed to do. So that I'm, this is what I'm doing. This is how this is the lifestyle that I'm living now, you know. I'm not doing it because I can't get a woman. You can easily go outside, talk to a woman and get her number. You can easily do that. You know, of course, you got to build up some courage and confidence in order to do that. But it, anybody can do that. It doesn't take hard work to do that. You know, so this guy, he's talking about, you know, he's basically making seamer attention seem unworthy. Like it's something that you shouldn't or it's something that you shouldn't be doing as a man. The most successful, the most wealthiest, the most richest, the most successful, the most wealthiest, the most richest, the most prosperous people on this planet get get like the, some of the most sex, some of the best sex, bro, from 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 some of the most desirable women on this whole planet. You feel me? But that doesn't mean those women or the success was granted to them from God. The devil can give people money, cars, houses, women as well. Just like how God can reward you, the devil can do the same thing. So don't get the two confused. And those people that he's referring to, are those people truly So the happy? women that everybody wants, that's who these celebrities is hitting, these athletes is hitting, these successful men, these rich, wealthy people, they getting all these models and all these highly desired women bro like on some real stuff bro and they they having good sex with highly desired women often and they're successful as hell so what is you talking this stuff y'all saying is not matching up bro look at the kings like them kings in the middle east and stuff like that they having whatever girl they want they got how many wives they want what are you talking about i'm pretty sure they have they're not followers of our lord and savior jesus christ the word doesn't tell us to have multiple wives. The word tells us we should leave our mother. The word tells us we should leave our father and mother and cleave unto our wives. The word tells us this. The word tells us that every man should have one woman to himself and every woman should have one husband to herself. So don't get the word twisted. What those men doing in the Middle Eastern, they're not doing it. Having to a please lot of our good most sex high God, the king, the princes, and shit like that, bro. Fuck is you talking about? Them niggas driving in them Ferraris and Lambos and shit. They getting ass. Fuck is you talking about? Them athletes, nigga. Like, of course, when a a, a big, a super big events coming up, you feel me? Like, you know, the playoffs or motherfucking championships or something like that. Something like that. Super Bowl or something like that. Of course, they probably staying away. You know. They not focusing on no women. They ain't out here fucking fooling around with no hoes. It's game time now. We we need to win these. You feel me? When it when it gets serious like that, yeah, they probably staying away. But guess what happened when the game is over? When it's finally all said and done with, nigga, they popping bottles at the bar and club, or they going home and they finna smash on something, bro. <laughs> for real, for real, bro. What fuck is you talking about? Y'all last tripping, bro. Y'all. I feel like that's a lame, a lame, a lame man excuse for not being able to get no ass. And then he got to flip over and say, oh, well, I'm on semen retention and I feel so good. And this and that, and this and that, and this and that. And when I say semen retention, I'm not talking about masturbating and shit, like staying away from masturbating. I'm talking about staying away from sex because this is different between no fat and semen retention. When we talk about no fat. I can see right through this guy. I can see right through him. I know who he hit. I know who he is on a spiritual level. Right, I can see right through this guy. I can just look at him and tell that he's a lost soul. He's a lost sheep. You know, I can tell. You know, I can tell he, he's been through a lot in his life. And God has gave him over to a reprobate mind. I can tell. You know, I can I can see it on him. I, can, I tested his spirit. 
and listen a lot of people they'll they'll try to make semen retention seem like it's not a powerful thing because they can't do it they're so tied to their lust they'll they'll clown the person who can go on high streaks who can abstain from fornication they'll make fun of that guy and call him lame because they can't do it they can't apply it or humble themselves to to stay away from fornication because they know that they can't do it and that's where all of this this envy this jealousy that's where all of this roots from because they can't do it and that is just a fact that is just a fact and that is the energy i'm picking up from this guy but let, let's hear him out though let's hear him out we're talking about masturbating when we say in semen retention i'm not necessarily talking about no fat although it could include that but i'm not talking about that i'm talking about having sex and or having orgasms period whatever you feel me like bro good sex is part of a good life my dude like for real for real bro and trust me if you was hitting highly desired women out here you would be in a high ass energy bro for real for real because you feel like a man you're like you hitting all these tens out here these nine and a halfs and these ten man where my phone at <laughs> where my phone at i'm gonna play i'm gonna play the video but i'm gonna look for the verse and these instagram uh model bitches these wealthy bitches these bitches that got their own money she pulled up in a bmw i8 something like that you hitting bitches like that you gonna feel all right so one corinthians chapter 13 verse 11 says when i was a child i spake as a child i understood as a child i thought as a child but when I became a man, I put away childish things. Brother, you sound like a childish person. You sound like a childish person. You sound like a little boy in a grown man's body. That's 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 what I'm getting from this video. I'm calling a spade a spade. You know, you sound like a little boy. I'm going to keep it a buck. You talking about smashing these tens? Like who cares if she's a 10? Who cares about that? Who, bro? Come on, man. Come on, brother. <laughs> a real man isn't worried about the type of woman he's he's smashing. If he's smashing tens, nine, a real man don't care about these things, bro. You know who cares about these things? Middle schoolers, high schoolers, kids that are still in school. Those are those are the only people. Who still cares about, you know, if she's a 10, a 9. Bro, let me play the video. Now. What, do, what do I know? Right? What do I know? <laughs> feel like a man, boy. What are you talking about? You going to be in a high energy. And being in a high energy going to attract attract to you higher vibrational things if you in a high vibration you gonna attract higher vibrational things into your life you gonna manifest what you want to manifest like on some real stuff you going you gonna manifest your desires way more easier when you in a higher vibration so all these people talking about oh semen retention semen retention i know this when i'm doing when i'm going through semen retention bro and really fam i i experienced semen retention last year 2019 because me and somebody that I was used to having sex with so often, we kind of had drifted apart or whatever the case is, you feel me? So I wasn't really having sex like that, that like I was. So I was going through little periods of semen retention, whatever the case is. Bro, I was sexually frustrated, bro. That is not no motherfucking high vibration to be sexually frustrated. He, the man said it out his own mouth that he was sexually frustrated, which proves my point that he he wasn't able to go on long streaks, right? He wasn't able to go on long streaks. He was sexually frustrated, which means that his 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 streak or whatever was cut short because he was sexually frustrated. He was in agony at the fact that he wasn't busting no cheeks. <laughs> you know, he <laughs> he was sexually frustrated. And that's why now he's mad that he couldn't go on longer nigga. streaks. All, all I was thinking about was motherfucking ass instead of thinking about getting something to, getting something done. All I was thinking about was motherfucking ass instead he, of thinking about being sexually frustrated. He just exposed himself. He he just exposed himself. See y'all, this is why you got to test the spirits. Test the spirit. Right? Test the spirit. Use discernment. Use wisdom. Understanding. You got to know who you're dealing with. We do not rush, wrestle against fle flesh and blood, right? Test the spirits, man. This man just gave his 
his whole identity away. He said he was thinking about the, the cheeks more than getting things done, which proves to me. And I and I'm not even going to degrade this man. You know, this is my brother in Christ, although this video, he seems that he's very far away from Christ. But I'm not trying to degrade this man. I'm not trying to bash him. But it is clear as day that his mind was, was too lust driven. He He's still stuck and trapped in his lust. This is why retention didn't work for him. You know, and retention isn't going to work for, for someone who is still trapped in their lust. You know, the things of the spirit is foolish to the natural man. So retaining your seed to this man is foolish to him. You know, he just want to smash the cheeks all day, all night. That That's what pleases him. That's what happens when you're on the wide path, man. You got to see, you got to see these people for who they are, man. You got to see these, these spirits for who they are. I'm trying to tell y'all, man my nigga I, all i was thinking about was motherfucking ass instead of thinking about getting something to, getting something done all i was thinking about was pussy instead of thinking about money or work or being successful or get, getting this done or getting handling this i wasn't thinking about none of that i was just thinking about ass i was sexually frustrated bro i don't know what's powerful about that my nigga i mean i know it's powerful about that when you sexually frustrated you go harder and shit for shit you feel me Cause you more tense about shit, you feel me? You more, you know, you got more of that edge. See, his, his, man. See, the, the, the good spirit in this man knows the power behind retention. You see, he's kind of backsliding saying, oh, I know the benefits of when you're sexually frustrated, you go harder. See, the, the goodness in this man wants to show. The goodness wants to prevail, but the spirit, the demonic spirit that has attached itself to this man isn't gonna allow the good part or the good spirit, the, the good side of this man to prevail. Y'all gotta see it. Y'all gotta see it. He just backslides and say he knows just the benefits like that, of being folks, sexually frustrated. There gotta be a balance to this shit, bro. So I'm not saying go crazy. You definitely should not be... Uh, Fucking uh, having orgasms every multiple times a day, every day, bro. You should not be ski skeeting every day, bro. You need a break. You need a break somewhere, bro. For real, it's not that serious to where you gotta freak every day, bro. Take a break on some real stuff. So it gotta be a balance to it. Yeah, you can't be skeeting too much, but you can't just be holding that shit in, getting sexually frustrated, bro. For real, bro. I've been through that, fam, and I don't see the benefit in that shit at all, my dude. Like, real stuff. And then when I start getting ass again, my energy raised higher again, bro. I start being more loose and free about shit again. You feel me? Instead of I started being more loose and free. I started being more loose and free. That shows that God gave you over to a reprobate mind, brother. Man. Man, <laughs> man, bros. Instead of being all fucking tense and motherfucking frustrated, free about shit again. You feel me? Instead of being all fucking the tense and motherfucking frustrated no and shit like that, bro. The, the it start freeing up my energy again because that's a motherfucking frustrated and shit like that, bro. It start freeing up my energy again because that energy is meant to be exchanged and, tra and transmuted and shit like that, bro. Like real shit. You that it was like creating an energy block within my body, bro. I could feel the energy block. I wasn't releasing. That's what it. That's what it's called, releasing, right? I wasn't releasing, bro. Like real shit. You a man need that shit. Fuck is you talking about? Y'all last tweaking boy on me. Fuck is you talking about? Man, y'all need to stop with all the myths and shit. Like I was saying, all y'all dudes talking about um. All y'all dudes talking about all oh, well. If you don't do senior retention, you ain't never gonna make it to the next level. You ain't never really gonna be successful. You ain't never really gonna uh, get wealthy. This and that's bullshit. Cause look at all the successful, successful, wealthy, prosperous people on this planet. They getting the best sex. They getting the most sex. Fuck is you talking about? They. This is why I tell y'all don't give all the praises to to senior retention. Senior retention is not the reason why you're all of a sudden gaining success. You're all of a sudden attracting the, the quote unquote tens, the baddies. 
all of a sudden you're getting the car of your dreams it's not because you're retaining brothers y'all gotta understand y'all gotta understand that it's god god is doing this once you're once you're denying your flesh god notices this god sees this you know and he rewards you for things like doing retention because that is what he wanted us to do he wants us to flee from fornication so he's gonna reward you but like i said earlier in the video the devil can reward you as well you know so not because you see guys who are still you know fornicating doing all the bad things and i think somewhere in the scriptures it says you know don't be envious of of the wicked for their time will come you know i don't know if somebody knows the verse drop it down below but not because you see those people living the lavish lifestyle means they're happy means they're content with life means that you know their 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 riches was given to them by god because the devil can reward you in the same way so he's I ain't gonna lie, he he's chatting right they now. They getting the most sex. He fuck is you chatting. talking about? Boy, big tall ass sex. Fuck is you talking about? They getting the most sex. Fuck is you talking about? Boy, big tall ass NBA player. You talking about? They getting the most sex. Fuck is you talking about? Boy, big tall ass NBA players and shit. They getting the most sex. Fuck is you talking about? These rappers and these actors and all these motherfucking A-listers and shit like that. They getting the most sex. Fuck is you talking about, bro? <laughs> On me, bro. Y'all last time about successful man, successful, prosperous, wealthy motherfuckers get getting the best. Like fuck is you talking about? They fucking the the fucking Instagram models with half a million followers or a million followers on her shit. They, then you 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 got access to them type of bitches. Fuck is you talking about? And then imagine how you feel when you hitting a bitch that everybody else want to hit, and you know you the one hitting it. She got she got motherfucking hundred thousand comments under her shit, hundred thousand likes and. Damn, babe, you bad. Ooh, ah, blah, 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 blah. Vanity. <laughs> Vanity. Blah, but whole time you ain't commenting on shit and you the one hitting it. Laid back. You laying right next to her while she's scrolling through them comments. Like, look at all these sucker ass niggas, all these beta male ass niggas, bro. On phone. I'm Nine times out of ten, he's one of them beta guys in the comment section. Nine times out of ten. I'll bet you my, my last on that. I'm hitting that, bro. And now I'm finna bounce around. I'm finna go take a shower, do my thing. And tomorrow, I'm finna go hit the other bitch that got 2 million followers. What fuck is you talking about? Vanity. Nah, for real, though, bro. Nah, I'm not saying be a whore monger or be out here just hitting shit or whatever. See what I mean? This guy, he know. Man, the devil will be a shoot. Man. See, we, we all know right from wrong because the kingdom of heaven is within us, right? We all know right from wrong. This is why this guy, he keeps backsliding. He'll say one thing and then he'll, he'll be like, oh, I don't mean to do this, but he keeps backsliding because he knows that what, it's like this, the, the good spirit in him knows that what he's saying is leading people astray. So he has to come back. He's basically adding truth with lies. You know, it it all these people show themselves. The spirits always expose itself. Yeah. But I'm just speaking from my experience that I'm in a higher energy when I'm having good sex, bro. When I'm when I'm in a period of having good sex, bro, I'm in a higher fucking energy. I don't know about y'all. I'll be happy to go work on some shit. I'd be happy to go accomplish my missions and go to my tasks and shit. Nigga, I'd be right on my way. Fuck is you talking about, bro? I don't know what the hell y'all talking about. When I'm not having sex, all I can think about is having sex, my nigga. When I give me some ass, then I no longer have to think about the ass because I just released and now it's like, bitch, get out of my face. I don't even want to see no females for like three days, bro. Now I'm going to go work on myself. Fuck it. I'm going to go focus on me now. Fuck is you talking about? I don't know. That's my strategy with shit. I don't know. How do y'all keep on following all these niggas on YouTube that's doing this shit just because they heard the next nigga that talk, talked about it on YouTube and that dude got it from another dude who said that on YouTube and that dude got it from another dude who said this on YouTube. But I'm speaking from experience, my nigga. Fuck all that bullshit they talking about. <laughs> all right, y'all. So I literally just ended the video at 10, 12, perfectly even, right? This was probably one of the best reactions I've had in my opinion, right? I don't, I don't know how much 
how good this video is gonna be but this personally right here i feel like i touched on a lot I exposed the, the spirit in this guy for what it truly was. So I, I, I personally, this is one of my favorite videos right here, hands down. You know, I'm claiming it right now. You know, I hope you guys took the message from today's video. You know, you gotta test the spirits because obviously like he just said, that was his experience. Not because he had that experience means you're gonna have the same experience. Everyone is different. You know, so not because he was sexually frustrated, he couldn't go on longer streaks it means you can't go on longer streaks. You know what I'm saying? So is it, it the spirits are always going to expose themselves, man. That's all I got to say, man. If you guys took anything valuable or learned something new today, make sure to drop a like, comment down below your thoughts and opinions, man. Share this video with a friend because they will most definitely need it. You know, I'm trying to save every single lost soul out there. You know, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I'll catch you in the next one. And I'm out.